Welcome back to Crypto Tutorial. On today's video, we'd like to discuss Algorand, how it's currently performing, and what we could expect during the upcoming hours. Before doing so, I would highly appreciate if you could follow me on Twitter. Down below in the description, below is social and info. You will be able to find a link towards my Twitter, so do not forget to do so. And as well, if you could give me those thumbs ups down below, it will be highly appreciated. So thank you very much, and let's get started. So on Algorand, what I would like to show you right away is that we are creating this symmetrical triangle. I would like to call this a symmetrical triangle, so especially because this is still a slightly ascending resistance so this is still going a little bit towards the upside we are still creating each time slightly higher lows so therefore i would like to call this a ascending resistance line as well we have seen this descending resistance with multiple touch points down below so both lines are actually confirmed trend lines so that's actually very good to know right now and what else i would like to discuss so far well for sure i would like to discuss the possible breakout scenario and as well breakdown scenario so if we are going to see a breakout occur it is very likely that we're going to see a further increase and where are we heading towards so, so if you're going to see an increase a 13% move towards the upside is absolutely likely to occur and as well if we do see a decrease at 13% the decrease is very likely to occur so let's take a quick look at the Fibonacci retracement and see what could occur if we do see right now further continuation of momentum towards the downside so what you can clearly see is that the 0 0.236 will be serving as a level of support especially because we did find a stronghold on top of it so therefore I personally think that if we do see a further decline in price action breaking down below this ascending resistance a further continuation of momentum towards the downside heading towards the $1.47 is absolutely high likely. If we take a quick look, what we would expect if we do see a breakout occur. So well, if we do see a breakout occur, you can clearly see that we will be breaking out all the way towards the 0 0.786 Fibonacci at $1.88. Therefore, I personally think that it is very likely that we are going to head in this direction. But what I think is quite good to know is that previously we did actually see a stronghold of support and resistance being found at this range. Therefore, if we head all the way towards the 0 0.786 at $1.88 I'm personally expecting a decline and afterwards just an accumulation zone anywhere in between the $1.88 and $1.75 afterwards so that is for sure something I wanted to discuss right away i would like to get started on what we are currently seeing on the macd and uh, what you can clearly see on the one hourly time frame what we're currently looking at that the macd is right now currently serving as a level of resistance we are clearly seeing that the ema ribbon is not supporting the trend right now and that we are well getting rejected by the one hourly EMA ribbon so therefore what we would like to see once we retest this ascending support once more is absolutely a stronghold being found and eventually a breakout above the EMA ribbon finding support on top of it and seeing further continuation breaking out above this descending resistance otherwise a further decline in price action as I showed you previously heading towards the $1.47 is absolutely likely on the four hourly time frame what is the MACD actually showing us well clearly it's showing us absolutely something very similar we are seeing as well resistance on top of us and what I think is good to know is that this resistance is actually aligned together with this descending resistance so therefore if we are going to see a further continuation of momentum towards the upside breaking out above the descending resistance we will be breaking out above the descending resistance but as well above the EMA ribbon and if we do see even further continuation afterwards we could for sure expect the EMA ribbon becoming a level of support instead of a level of resistance as what we're currently seeing right now this being said I would like to take a look as well at the MACD and at the RSI but before doing so do not forget that down below in the description you will be able to earn up to $3,500 deposit bonus if you join Bybit by using the link down below this is only for first time depositors and what I think is absolutely good to know is that this is a major opportunity to buy Algorand so therefore do not forget if you're willing to purchase this cryptocurrency to use the link down below in the description let's get started on the RSI and as well what we are clearly seeing on the MACD so on the MACD what we clearly see on the 4 hourly time frame is that we are seeing a continuation of momentum towards the downside so that does actually not look absolutely marvelous we would actually like to see a, a momentum decline as we saw previously heading towards a crossover on the MACD but that's currently not what we are seeing so therefore if we are actually going to see a further increase eventually we will 
head towards a crossover but currently we are still experiencing momentum towards the downside so to see what we could possibly expect during the upcoming hours let's head towards a one hourly time frame on the one hourly time frame you can clearly see that we are actually losing momentum strength towards the downside therefore a crossover is actually very possible to occur during the upcoming hours and this would actually mean that we are going to see as well an increase in price actions heading towards a retest of this descending resistance outside of this pattern so therefore i am actually right now not very worried at all and i personally think that it is likely that we are going to see a further increase in price action during the upcoming hours to confirm this i would like to enable right away the rsi and on the rsi what you can clearly see right away is that we are not seeing any type of bullish or bearish divergences but what i must admit is that the rsi does actually look very strong either towards the upside or towards the downside as well meaning that if we do right now see a further increase we still have plenty of space on the one hourly rsi to see further continuation above the dotted line and before doing so i wouldn't expect any type of reversal taking place but if we do see right now a further decline in price action heading towards a retest on top of this ascending support it is very likely that we're going to see as well a decline on the rsi and i must admit that this won't be a bad scenario either because if we do hold strong on top of the ascending support it will actually be quite good for the overall trend but if we do see further continuation below the 1.47 range i discussed previously is very likely to get reached on the four hourly time frame what i must admit is that we are not seeing any type of bullish or bearish divergence either but what is absolutely good to know is that if we do see right now further decline in price action we still have plenty of space on the lower part to break out up underneath the dotted line on the lower part on the rsi but as well if we do see a further increase in price action and a crossover as well here on the macd as i showed you previously it is very likely that we still have plenty of space to see further continuation on the rsi and therefore i personally think that it is very likely that if we do see either a breakdown we will be heading towards the one dollar and 47 cents but if we do see a further increase in price action reaching the one dollar and 88 cents range is very likely to occur i'm not convinced that we are actually going to see a breakout occur above it and find support on top of it but perhaps we're going to reach this range head back down and trade in between the 0.786 fibonacci and the 0.618 fibonacci just for a while so thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy the content do not forget to give me a big thumbs up down below and as well subscribe to the channel so thank you very much guys and have a nice day